Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Windows 11 version 22H2 has finally entered into its last and final stages of testing uh, in the Windows 11 Insider program before the public rollout of the feature update later on this year, possibly in October. And that's now as of the 7th of June 2022, which was yesterday in my region, where Microsoft have, have announced they've released version 22H2 to the release preview channel. And that's build 22621, which was also the RTM build, released to manufacturing build, that Microsoft rolled out on the 24th of May last month, which I did post on previously to their OEMs, originally equipment manufacturers, uh, for those manufacturers to start testing their hardware drivers and so on, just to keep up to speed uh, with the um, feature update before it's public rolled out later on this year. Now, Bold 22621, as many of you may know, um, has also been available over the last couple of weeks for testing uh, to, bait, uh, to beta channel uh, insiders in the beta channel uh, in the Windows 11 insider program. And now, as of the 7th of June, if you are signed up in the release preview channel, you will now have access to version 22H2 build 22621 now as well. Now, in case you are unaware, um, the release preview channel is basically the final stages of testing as mentioned, and it's basically your closest version and build you will get before uh, the feature update rolls out as the stable version um, in the latter half of this year. Now, um, if we just, look at these release notes, their uh, main reason for rolling out um, version 22H2 to the release preview channel, Microsoft says, uh, is for Windows inside a program for business participants to validate on devices in their organizations. So that's their main reason. But if you are a home user and are signed up to the, re the release preview channel, Microsoft says in this uh, last paragraph that they're also making this build available to any Windows Insider in the release preview channel through their seeker experience in Windows Update. So if we just go to a screenshot taken from those release notes, this means now that insiders currently in the release preview channel that meet the Windows uh, 11 hardware requirements can go to settings, Windows Update, and choose to download and install Windows 11 uh, 22H2 build 2261 and that's by seeking, checking for updates um, and that's if you want to because this is an optional update and you don't have to download uh, the feature update in the release preview channel if you don't want to. Now Microsoft carries on to say that uh, once an insider updates their PC to Windows 11 version 22H2 they will continue to automatically receive new servicing updates through Windows Update, which is the typical monthly update process. So as of next Tuesday, which will be Patch Tuesday, version 22H2 will start receiving the monthly Patch Tuesday updates until its public release later on this year. Now, if we just head back quickly to uh, those release notes and that announcement, um, if you want to join and sign up to the release preview channel, you can just click on this link and, and follow the steps and process to sign up uh, to the release preview channel if you want to uh, test um, version 22H2 before its public rollout. And uh, um, I will leave a link down below to this post and announcement um, for you to do that if you are interested and just to come check this out more in depth. Now, on a side note, in case you are interested, um, just to make mention quickly of some of the key feature uh, highlights and changes that will be rolling out with version 22H2 later on this year. And uh, um, I have posted numerous videos on most of these uh, uh, changes and features I will make mention of today in this video if you want to go check those out on this channel as that will just give you more in-depth information. But in no particular order and just to make quick mention of these, um, we are expecting to see dragging and dropping support for apps now in the taskbar uh, return to Windows 11, which means, as an example, if you have a file on your desktop, you can drag that now into the File Explorer uh, where it will open up or you can copy and paste that into the File Explorer, which that currently, that feature is dragging and dropping, is not available currently in the stable version. And then if we just head to the Start menu, currently your pinned apps and your recommended files and apps are static, so you cannot change the outlay. Now, with version 22H2, you will be able to adjust your pinned apps, uh, as an example, to show more 
apps and less recommended and the other way around you will also be able to adjust your recommended to show more and less and then have less pinned apps, pinned apps uh, regarding uh, what personal preference you would like in the start menu and that will be rolling out with version 22h2 where you will be able to adjust how many pinned apps and recommended uh, files you will be able to show in the start menu which i think is a move in the right direction and will be a nice change to the start menu and also we get in folder support in the start menu as mentioned previously and as an example that means if you drag and drop one app on top of another app that will create a folder and then you can categorize your apps into different categories and sections uh, in the uh, start menu using those folders which will now be supported in version 22h2 and then just to mention some others quickly uh, bluetooth um, you will be able to see your devices from your uh, quick access uh, in the system tray where currently you can just turn uh, you can just turn your bluetooth on and off now with version 22h2 yeah you will have a little toggle where you will be able to see uh, what which devices are connected without having to go to your settings menu and then go to the Bluetooth section. So that also will be a nice improvement. And then in the um, file explorer, your uh, folder folders will have previews. So currently you cannot see any previews what's in any folder like you can on Windows 10. And that will be changing in version 22H2 where you will, will be getting folder preview support uh, in the operating system and also just while we are in the file explorer um, it's going to be getting OneDrive support so the file explorer will be getting uh, as an example a little icon here in the top right for OneDrive which will let you see your OneDrive storage um, straight from your file explorer and you'll be able to access your OneDrive straight from your file explorer which um, if you do use OneDrive I think will be a nice handy feature and then um, the marker effect uh, will be coming, uh, will be becoming more available to uh, toolbars and and different apps in version 22H2, which means um, that will be uh, mean that certain aspects of the um, the the uh, shell, the actual Windows, will be able to pick up aspects of the desktop background and show those in tool toolbars and title bars as an example, and then we also get in a redesigned task manager as mentioned previously. And um, which just to mention some of those key highlights for the task manager would be uh, dark mode support and um, your system accent colors will be picked up uh, in the task manager as well. And you will also be getting a new efficiency mode, uh, which is a performance um, update and setting to the operating system. And then last but not least, uh, there's also going to be going to be system wide live captions support. And that means that you will be able to see live captions from any audio source including your microphone with the rollout of version 22h2 so that's it version 22h2 now available in the release preview channel and that was just some of the key highlights as mentioned that we can expect to see rollout with version 22h2 uh, later on this year possibly in, in october so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one